Hey guys, Gabby here from Ray Studios and I have something very special for you today. This is the Luminix Comet. So this is a camera trigger that you just mount on top of your camera and it will help you control your camera and also wireless control some flashlight. Now, there were not a proper unboxing here. There is just a whole bunch of cables and um, basically a plug so you can charge it and the device itself. So why there is no unboxing? Well, this is a beta, very early production version. As a matter of fact, I believe this is 3D printed. So even the material on this is gonna be slightly different by the time it hit full production. And as a matter of fact, even the color might be a little bit different. So it's supposed to be a little bit better on a black color. But anyways, let's uh, take a closer look. Even so, this is not the final version. Uh, it's gonna look pretty much somewhere around the same. So let's get a closer look. Okay, so here it is. As you can see, it's relatively small. It fits on the palm of my hand. Now, like I said before, this material is gonna be slightly different by the time it hits full production. So this is a 3D printer and it looks a little bit more gray. When I see the, the final version, it's gonna look black. Now here on the top of the device, we do have the name, Comet. We do have a, a LED light and then we have a small screen. Now here on the side, we do have the charging port, which is Type-C and a couple of buttons. Now there is also a microphone, more on that later. Now here on the front, we also have another light. That's probably for controlling the, the wireless flashlights. And here the brand Lumionix. Now in this side, that's where we're gonna have our camera port and we have two auxiliary ports. And on the back, we don't have a SD card slot. Okay, I'll tell you why we have that a little bit later. And here is the, the mount. Now, let's mount this on the top of my Canon EOS R6. By the way, this device is compatible with like, I don't know, like a whole bunch of cameras. I believe like nearly a hundred cameras. So still you may need to check which camera you have and make sure it's compatible. But yeah, it's pretty much compatible with everything. Now, for size reference, here is my iPhone 14 Pro, and you can see it's, it's much smaller than my iPhone 14 Pro, so it's a relatively small device. So to start this device, we're gonna just connect here to the camera port, and using a Type-C to Type-C, depending on your camera, that might be a different cable. Now, the cable, I love it. It's a cold wire cable, very high quality. Now, once you turn on your camera, you can turn on your device, And you can see we have a little red LED light on top and the screen is starting. Apparently it's a color screen, so kudos to Comet. They really bring up some good quality here. It takes a little while to start up, but here we are. And it's already recognizing my camera, CR6, Canon R6. By the way, this is touchscreen, so as you touch it, you can see immediately register the touch. So pretty clever. Now let's take a closer look at the, the screen and what we can do from the screen directly. So we have time-lapse mode and we can go into time-lapse. There is basic in which you can change all the settings of the touch screen. Now we tap out, we're gonna go to time-lapse and we can have also holy grail. So what is holy grail, you may be wondering. So basically when you're shooting time-lapse, especially for some longer periods, you will see that the light will change. So you can start with a base ISO and finish with a completely different ISO, aperture and shutter speed. The other cool feature we can access directly from the device screen is high speed. As soon as I touch that, you see that we have two options, one for light, one for sun. So let's try light first. So here you can adjust the sensitivity and you can see there is a live reading. You can see exactly how much light is hitting the device because there is a light sensor here on the front. You can see I cover it and it marks nearly zero. So let's get the sensitivity somewhere on the middle since we don't have very bright lights to test it out. We're gonna touch play and you see what happens when the device gets a strong light. Now we try now the one for song. So let's go back to high speed. So, and here the same, we can adjust the sensitivity. Uh, I'll get it somewhere in the middle and I put it there and there we go. 
that's pretty cool. So for example, if you are shooting something like balloons popping, which is pretty trendy nowadays, when the camera, or in this case, the comet, hear the balloon popping, it will trigger your camera to start shooting. This can also be useful for people who do thunder photography or even for events when people start clapping, the camera will start shooting and you will never miss the action. Another really cool option here directly from the Comet screen is that you can control wireless speed light. So you will need the trigger for this and you can have them in other different channels or different groups. Now, I don't have any speed light to test that out, but uh, yeah, it seems like a really cool idea. I remember back in the day when I was a photographer, I had to walk back and forth many times to change the light settings. Now you can do it from this device itself. And then this is why we have an SD port. You can actually get the SD card from your camera, plug it into the Comet. You can see immediately reads the card. And then if you have something like an SSD or some external hard drive, you can just plug that in. You can see here. And now you can read that too, and you can do an automatic transfer. Now it's estimated somewhere around 10 minutes to transfer all my pictures and videos from the cigar to the SSD. And it does that completely on the go. And of course it doesn't need to be connected to your camera. So you can keep using your camera with the B SD card. So I have two. So I can be copying one to my assistant Michael while I keep shooting. Now, so far I'm very impressed with this device. And like I said before, it's compatible with many cameras. So we decided to drop the R6 and get Michael's brand new R6 Mark II. Look at that, that's a scene of beauty. Now, we can also control your camera and the comment from your smartphone. So you can see here, we can change the shutter speed. We can change the aperture from S2.8 all the way up to F22. So that's what the lens allows. So you have a lens that, you know, you have a different aperture. Well, it will change accordingly. We can also change the ISO, the weight balance, and even the HDR bracketing. Now that is very useful. We can even access the live view of the camera. So you can see what the camera can see. And here we can still change all the settings. And all those settings that we're seeing off the top of the device on the touchscreen, it can also be accessed through your smartphone via Wi-Fi. Conclusion, this is a really cool device with a lot of new tech that I haven't ever seen before. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is a beta version pre-production. So by the time it hit the market, it's gonna look a little bit different, I guess just the color, because it's gonna use different materials, maybe even better quality. Even so the quality in this feels really good. It feels good quality. And at the same time, it's very lightweight and compact. And there are also some features that we find out that they're not working properly right now, but by the time they finish the product, they're obviously gonna be working on the firmware and make everything work very smoothly. So that's it guys, this is my review. I make sure to put the Kickstarter campaign on the description down below. Make sure to follow my channel, drop me a comment if you have any questions about this product and I'll see you in the next one. Adios amigos!